So I went and got this thing. Good to see it. No, oh, no! Really safe today. I'm terrible at Frank this. Frank is fing sketchy. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> we need to learn it. Frank had a cut a thing. Well, it's on there now. Good job, Frank. Oh, he's got to ruin everything. Yo, we're here at cagekits.com. We're here to pick up the Miata cage and Frank's Miata cage as well. Let's go check out the inside. Excited for some Miata kits? Miatas and stuff, yes. Yeah, Miatas and yeah. stuff. Frank has this turbo 1.6 car that's built motor and I talked him into coming into one of the drift events and essentially he was like, I love this, let's get into it. And then I drove it and I was like, this thing's a rocket ship. Like, yeah. this is fun. It's definitely a good combo. Yeah. For a while now and fabrication skills have always been on point. What he's doing with the Miatas is rad. I'm interested to see how they come out especially with them being a budget build. Uh, you know you got a light car with some power in it. The the fun per dollar spent is way up there versus like a full race car build. I'm looking forward to see seeing the car run and uh, seeing the roll cages in there as well. Hey, there's your cages, buddy. Hey. How's it make you feel? We're safe. We're now we're safe. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just throw it at the Miata. So we took this for a drive the other day, as you saw, and we weren't sure that the oil pressure gauge was reading right. So we went and bought this, you know, podunky one from O'Reilly's and it confirmed our diagnosis. This thing only has like 10 PSI of oil pressure under load. That's not gonna work. So I went and got this thing, a little built 1.6 liter. A local guy had it, fully forged bottom end, um, ATI super dampener. We're gonna get a new clutch for it. So uh, typically guys like me don't fit in Miatas, but Frank here has a Miata, as you can see over there. And you fit. And I fit quite well. So, uh, that car is making 380 wheel horsepower. Um, and it, it drifts very nicely. Uh, so, I was like, you know what? Let's, let's do something like that. And then Frank made an Excel sheet essentially saying, you know, we can put that car together for 7,000 bucks. Yep. And, you know, 7,000 bucks, about 400, 400 horsepower. It's going to be a fun little rocket. Yeah. Uh, Who knows? I think close. we're going to be shooting between 250, 300. Keep it safe. Keep it running for a long time. Have people do a bunch of laps, not go through a ton of tires. Let's just turn the boost up a little bit. I mean, we can do that if you want to. Uh, the options there, boost controller, and we got tuned, so. Yeah, but so here we are with the uh, 91 box that will be pretty nice here in a moment. Uh, we got parts from Chase Bays. They sent us a handbrake. Brake lines, power steering. Cooler. Cooler, yeah. Sorry, the one with the fins, the inline, inline style one. And then we got roll cages, not for only this car, but it's 
Frank's car as well from cagekits.com. They're all pre-bent, pre-notched, and just awesome FD spec roll cages. That'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, so we're gonna do a video showing you guys how we put them in, but. While well, I sit back and have some lemonade. <laughs> yeah, well you gotta do all the prep work, so. Oh, okay, okay, I see how it is. <laughs> but yeah, here's this clapped out Miata. We got a lot of cleanup to do. I mean, you know, you got 30 years of grime underneath these carpets. So I like to wire wheel all the base plate areas in the cars, just that way we get a better weld. We'll take it all to that nice finish throughout, you know, around this whole base plate. Why are you doing that? Mm -hmm. One thing to quickly point out that I've noticed here today is you have someone like Kevin here who works with metal all the time. You see how nice his little lines are here? And then you come over here to where I am and you just have like, you know, the general vicinity. Of nice and clean. Got a little mask just for cages. Nice. And I can still look cool. Every time someone welds, I'm, I like close my eyes to anticipate the weld and then it doesn't happen. You open your eyes and then right when you open your eyes, that's... I mean, these pieces are awesome. Like, you just zip it and it's already preformed by Rob and Cage Kit, so hard to, hard to beat it. So what he's doing is he's uh, putting the center mark on all the spot welds, essentially to guide the spot weld bit while he's drilling. And once we just drill through that first layer of um, sheet metal, then the rest of it just pops off essentially. There's a couple cuts we have to make because we're leaving a portion of the bracket, but for the most part, it all comes away. And it ends up looking like this guy right here. All right, so I went through and I got the spot weld cutter on as many of these as I could. There's, I think there's one left up here. So next we can, we can hit that with a, a pry bar and a hammer, get that loose. But now we're going to make a cut around this upper bolt, which is the only one that we're going to be keeping as a remainder. And the rest of this should fold out like the other side as one piece. Clank. There, there you go. go. Just one, two, three, four, five. These tabs, you can see they're bent down up front. <clears throat> Those need to be trimmed back just a little bit for the A-pillar uh, bars that run to the back hoop. A tiny little trim. So keep that in mind. Last thing to cut would be these little tabs. The bar is going to go right past that down to the plate. So make sure those come off as well. Got the rear tray cut out as well. So now we can get the tubes to start tack in after we get them cleaned and maybe put a little paint on them. Keep things rolling. Got to make the insides of my tube shiny. <laughs> All these years of lacrosse training paying off. Um, so 
So essentially the tubes get sent to us like this. You know, they have a little bit of oil and everything on there. It keeps it from rusting. Um, this is just typical hot coating from, from the mill. It's the same thing on the inside, right? So when we, when we prep a piece, we prep the outside. So it's nice and clean. You gotta have a clean inside because once you penetrate fully through the, the metal, whatever junk is on the backside is getting sucked into it. Big boy. Oh, Big shit. boy. Not my wiring. Yahtzee! Hold on, I gotta save my wiring, guys. Please. No, oh, no! Really safe there. <laughs> Not my candy paint. Dude, I, I, I understand. Like, you don't, you don't gotta hype it up to me. Totally, totally get it. Just leave me alone. Cheese. Oh, oh, no gas. Is, dude. No gas. Round two, fight. Fitment of the hard top. Does it fit with a cage kit? Rear fits. The front? Uh, it's it's pretty close. close. It's pretty close. I think we can make it. We're just touching right there. Any more additions? No, nope, looking tight, looking right. Looking right. Learning how to do the camera. Get the camera guy. Ooh. Lighting boy. Ooh. Frankie boy. 